Hello, my name is Jan Forrest. I'm a member of Butterfly Conservation South Australia. I'm also an honorary associate at the South Australian Museum. And the filming of this uh, butterfly, Agoris otanes, was taken on Kangaroo Island on a museum expedition where we were collecting and filming for the Biodiversity Gallery at the South Australian Museum. Today, we're going to explore the fascinating relationship between a common native ant and a rare and endangered butterfly, Agoris otanes. So firstly, a little bit about the species. Agoris otanes belongs to the Lycaenid family of butterflies, commonly called blues. In Australia, there are many species of blue butterflies that form relationships with ants. Some are casual and some are essential. Agoris otanes caterpillars live in an ant's nest under its host plant, Coretrum glomeratum, known commonly as the berry broom bush. Agoris otanes is known as the small brown azure butterfly, though it is more purple than blue, and is known to be rare and endangered. It occurs in pockets within South Australia and Western Australia where its host plant berry broom bush occurs. Its last major refuge is on Kangaroo Island where the images and footage we'll see have been recorded from. The recent fires on Kangaroo Island have burnt many known locations of this host plant. As this plant is an early successional plant species, this means it can recover quickly after habitat disturbance such as fire. Berry broombush is the host of the larval or caterpillar stage of Agoris atanes. The adult female will lay her eggs at the base of these plants, yet only if she senses the presence of the ant species, Campanotus terebrans. This ant is essential for the development and survival of the caterpillar. The adult female Agoris atanes breeds through the warmer months from November to April. A female will lay her eggs in many locations, and once she's laid her eggs, she will die. When the tiny caterpillar emerges from its egg, it will eat the egg casing, and then the Campanotus ants will collect the larvae and move them down into the nest. Each night, the ants will herd the caterpillars up the broom bush to feed, and then escort them down into the nest after feeding. After three months as caterpillars, the Agoras atanias will pupate underground. In this pupation stage, they change from caterpillar to adult butterfly. The butterfly will emerge from underground and will expand its wings and start its adult life and begin the reproductive process again. So why aren't the ants attacking and eating the caterpillar? The caterpillar fools the ant by emitting a pheromone from glands on the posterior which makes the caterpillar smell like this species of ant. This ensures they are not attacked. In return, the caterpillar excretes a sugar and protein solution called honeydew which the ants feed on. The honeydew is so desired by ants, they will protect the caterpillars. This is what is called a symbiotic relationship because both the ant and the caterpillar benefit from each other. This was the really very exciting time. We shone the light directly onto the bush and as immediately the ants got very agitated and they started pushing the caterpillars down to the plant, basically saying, danger, danger. If you look closely at the plant, you can see some dark patches. And this is where the caterpillars have been feeding. As you can see, they're herding the caterpillar down. This one's quite a mature caterpillar. You can see the two aversible organs mentioned previously with, that emit the pheromones. As soon as the caterpillars got to the bottom of the, uh, of the bush, there was quite a few ants there. And if you look closely, you'll see that there are two different sizes of ants. There's what we call a major ant and a minor ant. Campanotus, this group of uh, ants, have these two casts of ant. You can see there's a lot of tugging and pushing and lifting, and I suppose that you could say ant handling. And you can see that the ants are frantically trying to get the caterpillars to go down into the hole. What we have here is a pupae in the ant nest itself. The ant is attending the pupae and we've got two empty ones above. Once the adult emerges from the pupal case, it has to climb out, out of the ant nest before the wings can expand. At this stage, the pheromone has diminished and so the ants may attack the newly emerged butterfly but apparently they have lots of extra scales and so all the ant gets is a, is a mouthful of scales. And this way they can 
escape and expand their wings and climb up into the bush 